Howdy caddies, weekly walkabout time at the collector, hope you're going alright, we've been busy again, we've got heaps of cool stuff. Nice little 19, I think 13 or something, 1912, 1913 Essendon Footy Club enameled membership medallion, some nice little bits of gold, some amber, cereal toys, Korean silver spoons, you got some nice Jensen jewellery. They've got the brooch over the back there. You've got a pretty cool ring in the middle. And another ring set with the big lapis lazuli stone. These are nice all the fob medallions. There's some nice little sort of lockets and fobs in there as well. Cool old pair of cuffs, handcuffs, shackles, costume jewellery, some more nice glass beads. Nice little 1930s evening in Paris little box set. Ladies watches, carved bone, pretty cool modern sort of silver necklace over the back. So there's some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet. This thing's cool. Frame Simpsons sort of diptych. So a diptych is when there's two pictures being framed together as one. And these are cartoon cell setups. These are really cool. They're also signed by Harry Shearer, who does the voice for Smithers and for Burns, I reckon. And it's also got the quote signed by Harry Shearer that um, Smithers is actually saying in that in that scene. Pretty cool. I'm afraid Homer Simpson is sterile. One of your um, cabbage heads from Sector 7G. <laughs> it's really cool. It's got some paperwork on the back, but it's a great bit, great little bit of the Simpsons' original cartoon cells. With the hand signed quote from Harry Shearer. Damn cool. What else have we got? Little outdoor wicker bench. It's cool, a big sort of um, eastern tanker painting. There you go. Massive big thing. Nice sort of faux bamboo like frame. Little sort of vintage style teak games table. These are pretty cool. The colourful candelabras. Motorbike helmet. And this is really cool. Old 1960s, 70s bowling shirt. It's got the little adjuster tabs on the side. But the label, as it say, James Bond 007 by Polarco. Really cool bit. So Australian made Polarco shirt with the James Bond sort of branded label. Cool thing. Some sports shirts, basketball camp, gridiron and stuff. And these are cool old woolen knit sort of cycling jerseys. They've both got their pockets, or that one's got their pockets in the back there for your bottles of water and stuff. This one's really cool. There you go, Tekka, Team Tekka. Good things. And they're made in Italy. It's a little maker's mark, Castel Castelli or something like that. Um, some records. Cool little group lot, mixed items, little radios and binoculars and crocs. A little sundial's pretty cool. Two boxes, sort of ladies' clothing and other stuff. This is a nice group lot, sort of Australian pottery domestic set there. With a cool sort of uh, menu poster and a big industrial sort of light. What else have we got? <coughs> little lot with a rally or Ranley sort of breakfast tray. Nice gilt cutlery set. Pretty cool modern sort of lamp. Two boxes of all the Brio Kids toy train sets. A lot there with the two tables we've put with the other tables. What else have we got? A little funny sort of Victorian style outdoor table. Some ladders. Big copping, a big uh, washing copper. Kind of like this. I know, I know. It's all made out of tiny little glass beads. It's really cool. Sort of abstract, colourful landscape thing. What else have we got? Some more boxes of mixed items, including that guy. Some lamps and lightings. The Ponyot's back in this week, and we've just double-checked to make sure that we've got all the right photograph and everything with it. Some oriental pots, kind of like this one, with the hand-painted fishies inside. A lot of tins in gear. This one's a nice early swallow and aerial one made in Port Melbourne. Little cherub lamps are cool. CDs, DVDs, heaps of sporting stuff, footy gear, cricket bats, skateboards. It's an old Geelong Premiership glass from, we think, 1963 or something like that. 
A lot of this detail's worn off it. Art Deco chairs are pretty cool. They're in great condition, and there's seven of them. Um, some books. Nice little lot of antique reference. Got a little lot of records. Alice Cooper. Bit of Kiss. Shriek Back. A bit of rock and roll there. Nice big mix, a lot of sort of classical EP in China. Another nice little group lot here, Grimwade's Luster Jug, some handstand vases, Quimper. Another good lot of Australian records, the group. Uh, Matter Lake, old 55. Big lot of cars all in their boxes. These are all nice sort of modern glass paperweights and perfume bottles and stuff. Uh, what else? We've got some nice paintings this week. Uh, really nice bits by Graham Peebles. Sunday afternoon at Queen's Cliff Pier, which is pretty cool. You can see about four or five fishing lines coming off and all being tangled up in the one lure. Another big, nice big Graham Peebles, The Wreck of the Ozone. These are big mezzotints, sort of surreal. And this is another one as well, Lifeboat. Really cool things. What else have we got? This is a good bit. Robert Greve, another great little Australian sort of abstract expressionist. Um, Helena Gibson, little mixed media. It's a cool bit. The John Olson front cover. It's a portfolio published by Port Jackson Press. Da -da 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 -da. It's a cool thing. Lake Air. It's a nice Johnny Balmain oil. Little Nathan. Paramanathian, another cool little sort of Australian abstract little expressionist landscape. Joyce Thompson, I think it's called Discovering. It's a really nice watercolour, really like the big Douglas stubs up the top. Got some nice Aboriginal pieces, Lucky Morton Gwarai. Got some paperwork and stuff to go with it. And two others here as well by Mary Morton Kamare. Once again with some paperwork. Like this Peter Nuttall, sort of like an ink and wash. He's an English artist. Really cool thing. All right, big lot of Kitchenalia, a vice, sewing box, expandable, and another one. These are cool, the green kitchen canisters. Nice lot of sort of Pubinalia bar gear. Good in the box, sort of horn set, which is good if you're into horn. <laughs> Really like this little sort of shot set, little travelling shot glass set. I think there's four of them inside. Really cool little lot. It's a good group, that. Even the decanters are nice. Big one over the backs, Villaroy and Bock. There you go. This bird thing's pretty wacky. Gabriella, somebody. It's Italian. Good thing. It's a little bit of damage on it. Uh, some watches, clocks, swatch watches and stuff. Oriental lacquerware, cloisonne, soapstone. A couple of cool books. Triumph Workshop Manual, Captain Scarlet and the Thunderbirds. A little vintage 1970 skateboard. Some nice Dalton cabinet plates, all with Australian subject matter. Fishing rod, fishing reels, car badges. Nice little Oz Pottery lamp base, all pierced. Um, F E P. And dated 1947 on the base. It's a little bit of damage up around the top here where they've shoved the bloody top in. But it's a nice sort of thing. Good bit. Brassware, wooden items, English china, a couple of bits of Oz pottery. Nice little lot of liqueur glasses. Another good little group lot, little tobacco jar, the comport, and the little desk stand. Two little ink wells, a little spot on top for them to go. What else have we got? Ladies items. There's some medicinal vials of medicinal alcohol in there. Stamps. A couple of bits of English. Little mix lot. English and Australian. More sort of modern lacquerware and stuff. Triang ships. All sort of 1-1200 scale bits in their boxes. Good lot of swap card albums and their contents. A couple of Coles cards there. A little lot of decorated sort of tribal items some superhero gear these old fridge magnets are cool from the 1960s 70s 
tribally little bits. Ooh, Canadian piece is pretty cool. Todd Watts, 1987 Thunderbird. Two more ships. This is all Kingston Heath Golf Club stuff. So you've got a twin pack of cards. You've got a little glass and a trophy, plus a cool record music for tired golfers. Nice little brass jardiniers. Some military group photos and some military badges. These are great. All the packaged original Commodore 64 games. Masonic gear. A nice cane. It's a cane rather than a walking stick. And a really cool little um, crop. Blue glass. Can't wear another china. Good lot of cut crystal glassware. Nice little lot of art glass. This bit's signed. Little birds from Tasmania. Little Mattel Jack in the Box. Action figures, some 118 scale army jeeps and Chevys and a Chevy Chevelle. Mint box Star Wars speeder bike. Nice bit of Ellis, mid-century Australian. Kind of like the heavy little carved figures. What else have we got? Another 118 scale, the Gullwing Merc. Some nice bits of glass. Nice bits of English china. These are nice old vintage 1940s, I think, Australian Sherlock Holmes Daybill movie posters. Nice big bit of Oz pottery, the vase. It's got a bit of damage. It's got a dragon on the front here. And on the back, it's got like a sort of palm tree or something like that. No marks on it. Nice big lump, though. These are cool as. The riding boots got their old spurs on them. And they're really nice original sort of forms. In there as well to hold their shape just in ridiculously good condition singer featherweight sewing machine reggie preston littered pot what else have we got nice little sort of art pottery twin handled vase japanese modern teapot there with a nice chinese plate uh english ceramic puzzle mug these things are always good fun signed art glass just can't figure out the signature pair of chinese watercolors what else have we got? This is a nice vintage Art Nouveau biscuit tin or something like that. It's nice to see with the original lid. Cool little globe. Sandra Bernarditis, I think her name is. Little hand-decorated owl. He is fantastic. Victorian ruby glass. We've got some nice stuff in the top shelf as well this week. He's cool. The light-up devil lamp or the demon made in Melbourne. Oz Pottery Gumnut Gumleaf, unusual colours, reckon it's probably Shelmar. A um, couple of nice little bits of Australian glass, the perfume bottles, I think this one's Delaney. Ruby glass, nice little bit of satin glass with the silver overlay. Silvac Oinka. Little Martin Boyd, little wall plates, really nice with the Aboriginal decoration. Nice pair of the Victorian Ruby glasses. This is John Walsh Australian Art Glass. And this is, I think, uh, Khalifa Australian Art Glass as well. Another little Abraham Palatnik Huda. And these little bronze pipe players are kind of nice. Couldn't see a signature on them, but they're nice little things. So, yeah, guys, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Hopefully we see you guys here on Thursday night, or we'll see you online. <laughs>